Um, and then the main event, how, how, what'd you see on the main event be? Uh, the Wonder Boy. Uh, I, I think that f- I can break it down very simply. I think in the first fight, Woodley was trying to knock Wonder Boy out and win. And I feel like, all due respect to Woodley, that he was in this fight trying not to lose. And he was very cautious. And of course, I understand that. I mean, Woodley's both, a hell yeah. of a. Yeah. And, and I. So, so my feeling was that um, it's like when you have that belt. You know, it comes with a whole different set of problems and responsibilities where you don't want to lose it. Where you're, you're fighting. Know, the first fight was a draw. Yes, it so was. So he didn't beat him. But I feel like he's fighting. He was very fighting uncharacteristically caught in a very cautious way. I'm talking about Woodley in this case. I understand it, but I don't know if that. So who'd you, know, you have, who'd you have winning the fight? I, I honestly, um, I, honestly, I, I, and again, I'm saying this with respect. I didn't care. You, so you didn't you didn't have anyone with so so, well, so you know what's fair so, you know what's so, fair so, can I, yeah, can yeah. I can you added a draw I had it a draw that's for fair. the most part you know yeah. why because if you're gonna score it with the 2017 rules that's a draw if you're scoring old school rules mm-hmm. before these new ones Wonder Boy won that fight because Although, because yeah. they're, so they're they're both at fault here that fight was awful don't get me wrong right. and and. I know Rogan and uh, Dom Cruz like, I loved it. It's a battle of you never know it. Come on. Come on, guys. We've seen a lot of fights. And I know Robin Blast going to say the same thing. I was taking back and forth with him. He loved the fight. Entertainment's entertainment. I'm balls deep in it like they are. That was not a fun fight. It just wasn't. And I know I agree, at any I agree. second could end. I agree. Cut the bullshit. That yeah. fight fucking sucked. No guy wanted to take any risk. Right. That's exactly right. Wonder Boy. Remember, Switch's stance was a complete. So he started off traditional. This fight, he was southpaw the entire fight, basically. So that was that messes up Woodley's complete game plan. Like he's staying this whole time. So Wonder Boy didn't engage. Woodley didn't engage. So it was like you remember when you're a kid and you're playing Street Fighter and your mom's like, "Guys, dinner!" And maybe you and your brother playing, and the fighters sit there like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and they mm-hmm. come back. People, that's exactly how that yes. fight was. I, I, and, and so. Wonder Boy didn't want to get taken down and was scared of the explosiveness of Woodley. Woodley was scared of the counter striking from Thompson, so he didn't engage. And so you get this fight. But in our sport and scoring it, the, you, so you go, okay, well, there's no shots landed. No guy's taking a chance. Who's moving forward? Who's controlling the lockdown? That would be Wonder Boy. Based off that, he wins three rounds, right? So that fifth round, it's not a 10 8 round. Wonder Boy is winning the entire fight. Yeah. Get, winning the entire he did round, get teed off and got back up. That's fine, but that's yeah. but he got back up. Yes. Now, if he didn't get up and the bell rings, right. okay, it's almost a finish. I get it. Yeah. That's a ten nine round in my book. Yes. So I had three rounds to uh, Wonder Boy, just f- not because he outclassed him or anything, because of on control in our scoring system. So Wonder Boy wins three rounds. Woodley won two. Then I'm like, okay, even if it is a ten eight round, then we got another draw. I was fine with another draw. Let's just chalk this up. These two should not be fighting. And also because of the, because those, clash of styles, yes. they should not be fighting. And those three fo- those three rounds that that Wonder Boy, they, the rounds were so close and uh, non active that again you can only w- score it on that. right. So the way I looked at it, I have I, to I, score. I, I looked at Woodley taking Wonder Boy down and controlling him for a little while, and then that's the I one he won him, though. I right? gave him. And that. what I'm saying is that, but overall, for me as a fan who's not really that nuanced on like when the rounds are that close on who's going to win, which you are more of. Uh, although Wonderboy hit him in the head a couple times with a kick. More, more overall, uh, as a fan, I go, I go, took him down, controlled him, knocked him down, teed off on him. Yes, Wonderboy stepped out to the side and he was okay. But for the most part, because of that action uh, and because he's the champion, I'm just going to give it to Woodley. You, know? you can't do that, though, because you go off the body of work for five rounds. So if, if we're going off that, if the fifth round means more than the first round, what the fuck are we doing? Mm. You, like, you have to score them like they're all the exact same. What do you same. think, though? What do you and, think about but, that, and, and even the, though it's not the rule? This what? is the other problem. I fucking hate this one. You, know, he's the, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you really got to beat the champ if you're going to take that belt away. No. It's no different than the other. It's fight. always been that way, though. That's all I'm saying. But that right? does. It, I, I get, and yeah. everyone says that. But it, yeah. you can't. It's a fight. You judge a fight if it's the fucking first fight of the night or championship round. Mm-hmm. You judge all the fights the exact. It's. Well, I don't give a fuck what Woodley did in his past. Mm-hmm. I don't give a Wonder Boy did in his. I'm. I'm basing my judgment off this 25 minute fight right now. Right. I don't give. A, neither one's a winner. You went to a draw last time. Let me see. All right, what's going on here? Wonder Boy won three rounds. Woodley won two. Do you think neither one won any fans do, in that do, fight? Do, 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 and and to Woodley's point, where he's like the UFC's racist, you know Dana this, bro. No. 
Here's the problem. Yeah. Here's the fucking problem. Ferguson could be pull out. You guys got to sell this fucking thing. Yeah. You did nothing. Right. You did absolutely nothing to your corner in the fifth round. Went, you have to get a finish. His corner goes, Din, Din Thomas goes, you have to get a finish here to win this fight. His own corner goes, you have to get a finish to win this fight. Yeah. And then he goes out and, you know, gets take down, blasts him with that right hand, does work. Right. Until then, you did nothing. Do you think... That's where the because, criticism But here's from. my question. Because it's a 25-minute fight, do you think that the last round, like, like if you couldn't change rules, do you think the last round in a fight, the last two rounds in a five-round fight, do you think they should have more weight than the first three rounds? No, because let's go back to other sports. So should the first inning, if I score eight runs, but in the 10th inning, you, or in the ninth inning, you score four, but they, you got momentum back, should that count right, more? Right. Or in the Super Bowl... In the first quarter, Atlanta did work, uh -huh. but in the fourth quarter, Tom Brady That's did. That's interesting. That's good. No, that makes sense. they're all the same. 15 minutes, 15 yep. minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Whoever scores the most points racks up the you most gotta points. You got to score like, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's how it works. It's a body of work. That makes sense. That's our scoring system. How do you guys judge fights just as a, you know, like saying, so you saw someone on the street fighting another guy. How do you judge the winner there? Do you kind of judge it overall? Based off the eye view? And no one, no one like finishes anyone, but then say they got tired and stopped. Like the way I judge it is if I see someone getting destroyed and then it's about to end, then that's to me the winner. You're saying via I, Connor Nate Diaz. Remember um, that their last fight? Like if that fight would have went another round, Connor probably loses that. Yeah. So that's how so I So you judge think a real Nate fight. was the winner? In a real fight, yeah. It's not a that's real fight. That's kind of how I look. It's that's not a real look fight. Fights, though. You know I what I'm saying? It's not a real fight. A real fight when he has his knees on the ground could fucking kick him in the face. Mm -hmm. And plus, I do judge fights that way as like a, the way that UFC does and everything else if I love a fighter. So back in the days, if I had like I a fan you. of a fighter, I hear you. dude, he won three out of two. I know. But in a real like, like a macho man way or whatever, I see a fight as someone who's actually going to take the guy out. If but you're then, in a real street fight together, But then let someone, me ask you this, Chin. Yeah. So then if it's a street fight... And um, let's say Brian's been in 50 fights more Which than I me. Have. So he has scar tissue all over his face. Yep. Yeah. But Brian lands Don't six jabs on me. I land one and opens up a gash. Did, am I winning the fight? Not gash. I'm saying like... But you, you, the, you're talking about eye test right now. Street fighting. No, no. So in a street Someone fight, let's, let's say Brian and I are in eighth grade. We're going to fight. No one's around. I fucking sock Brian in the eye. But then for the next 30 minutes, Brian bully beats me down and embarrassingly gives me a wedgie. We go to school the next day. Bro, fucking Brian won that fight. You know what I'm saying? Not just looks. I'm saying if I saw someone get drop another dude wailing on him, and the other guy hits the guy in the face, and he's bleeding all over the face. No, the guy that was wailing on him is sure. the one that wins in my mm. in sure. my book. Yeah, it's tough for me because it's a sport. You know what I'm saying? It's tough yeah. for me. I Fighting see what you're no, saying. That's why I said yeah. outside of that. No, I hear you. Look at I hear it again. In that fight, there was no winner. I like I like how no one won. It, if anything. If you're not going to give to Wonder Boy, if anything, I was like, oh, it's going to be another draw. Mm -hmm. I sure as fuck didn't have Woodley win that fight. And I love Woodley. I have no no bad intention against Woodley. Yeah. I love Woodley. I, I think he's actually a great champion. I think that, that weight, the. Uh, I think that whole weight class in trouble, N85. But. Uh, as, as Michael Bisming said to GSP, I'm a fighter. You're an, you're an athlete. You're an athlete. Drunk as shit at the front. Did you see that? He just mm -hmm. comes in drunk. I'm a fighter. The, the most white shit talking of all time. Of all time. Oh my god, that's hey, a, well, that's, that's our business. Look at this guy. That's our business. You're drunk. Who wins that fight? You've already broken that down. Haven't I haven't. I will though. It's too early. They don't even have a date for it. Another quick question. So if they both pulled the trigger, just from what you've seen from both of them, if they both pulled the trigger, who do you think would have taken it? Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. He knocks Woodley out. See, I, for whatever reason, if, that's if Woodley. Woodley gets super uber aggressive, that's fucking. Holly Holm, Ronda. Something that Wonder Boy did in the Johnny Hendricks fight I saw was there was more kicking sort of down the line. Different animal. It's a different animal, but that Way back slower. kick. Way slower. Yeah. He's, he's, he, uh, 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 Johnny Hendricks, he's kind of, you know, he's on his last leg. Right. He can get away with that. Sure. Johnny likes to strike. Woodley, in the first fight, when Wonder Boy threw one kick, kicking down. He's uh, so explosive. He's in his prime right now. Yeah. You throw those kicks, it's game yeah. over. Even a front kick. like You're, you're in trouble. Yeah. He threw hey, I mean, some well, calculated. Wonder Boy, I'm sure knows all that. You know, for me watching it, I'm like, no, his game you're plan. kicking, you're roundhouse kicking. I wonder if there'd be something like. The, no, it's like my dad watched football. He goes, I don't know why they don't blitz. I'm like, because if, if I get that, that's fun to see. Yeah. When you do that, they're just gonna throw over the top and score a touchdown. Yeah. They're waiting for it. They're waiting for yeah. it. He's waiting. For it's that. fun. I get it. Yeah. But there's a reason why a guy who has 
Oh, damn near a hundred, including amateur kickbox matches, ain't kicking down. You don't there's, think there's they know that? A you think Brian Cowell watching with his buddies yeah, in the yeah. Boston there's bar knows something they don't? Definitely a re- I, That's what I was saying. It's I'm, weird to me people don't recognize that. No, no, that. but no, but, but no, you know but, what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. I don't get why he's not kicking down the front anymore. Me, I was like this. I was like at first, I was like kick, front kick him right down the center or back kick him right down the center, and then I then I stopped and I went as I'm watching this, I go just kick him and keep him at a distance. And then I went, I think Wonder Boy probably has an idea. I'm sure that the camp probably knows that that would, there's a reason that that's not happening he, right he, now. He could have right? just been hesitant. He was worried you'd take down. He said or that. Or break your foot with a front. Not game, break foot. It it's not really know. that. But yeah. I mean, you don't think his dad, who owns one of the biggest fucking karate schools in the nation. Or he, he as well, who's been fighting since he was five. Both of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So and if so, you're a fan so, list, and whenever you think, like, God, I don't know why he's doing this. Yeah. Trust me, there's a reason. Yeah. There always is. Uh, co- of course. Yeah. Of course. And that's what they both said. They go, look, I know it looks like one thing there. When you're in there and you're fighting the one best counter puncher in our division, or, and, and uh, conversely, if you're fighting a guy with that kind of explosive power, you're going to be hesitant. Well, that's why I can't, I can't stand when people go, ne- shouldn't leave it up to the judges. And one boy said that to him, like, oh, you poor thing. You're listening to all the fucking yeah. propaganda now. What do you mean by that anyway? I mean, you're doing your best in there and you're dealing with a very dangerous opponent. One They're mistake, the best in the world. They're, one it's mistake. very hard to get a guy of yes. Woodley's caliber out of there. Yes. Yes. One it's mistake. hard to get Wonder Boy out of there. He's never been finished. It's going to be very tough to get him out of there. It's going to be impossible to get Woodley out of there. Mm-hmm. This shit happens. Who who does Wonder Boy fight next? And... I haven't thought about it. I have no idea. Mm. The loser of uh, Maz Vidal, Damian Maya. And then the winner of that goes on for the title shot. Maz Vidal, Damian Maya. Very interesting. Looking forward to that. Did you like the Tamer Venata fight? I think that kind of saved the main card. It did, but I'm not invested with that. Yeah. And I'm balls deep, and I know who those guys are, but I'm not investing in those two. It's not a story. It's fun to watch, but I, all, I, I can watch fights on Access TV, and they're fun to watch. I'm not invested. I don't give a fuck. There's no story there. You know? Hmm. I thought the, the girl from, uh, she from Team, oh, no, she wasn't the boxer, the blonde who got choked out. Attractive thing. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. box her ass off. Terrible, salty record of 3-3 three and three in the UFC. Amanda Cooper, right? Yeah, and her dad, she comes from a boxing background. Amanda Cooper, dad comes from a boxing background. Signed her up for an MMA fight just to see how, you know, if her boxing is ready and how she took off with it. There's a star quality with her. When she was on camera, I'm like, mm, I can see something happening there. Mm-hmm. She also needs to work on her grappling and stuff like that and fought a, uh, you know, a debut fighter, but. Yeah, the one some shit to work on. What'd you say? The one that she did fight was yeah, was yeah. And she looked great. Her transition yeah. from the darts to taking them back, I've ri- that's so hard to pull off is r- ridiculous. 